But my heart won't break now I don't commit no crime From the innocent But still I serve my time
All right. So hello everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. Okay. Is everybody ready to get back into some persona? Also, I hope you guys like my new overlay and stuff. I decided that I was gonna change it up because I didn't like the other one, frankly. It was too blocky and it was too in the way. And I found this one, I'm like, ooh, it's animated. This kinda cool looking. So we're gonna try it out. And also the in-game is a lot better, so it won't block as much of the screen. Um, yeah. Hope everybody's ready to get back into some persona. Uh today we are going to um, we're gonna get, or we're gonna find our next big target, Matarame. Um, yeah. <sighs> so much colder today. We're going through a, like a couple day cold snap after having really nice warm weather. It sucks, frankly. <laughs> I want it to be warm. Wrong one. All right. Um, last time we left off, we uh, we defeated Kamoshida and got rid of him, and we also uh, officially became the Phantom Thieves. Angels Call. So yeah, let me just get this. I hope the audio sounds better today. I was kind of fiddling with the uh, audio because it sounded echoey yesterday. Yeah. But yeah, I was kind of messing with it because my uh, headphones are... My new headphones are weird. But yeah, uh, this is evening. I don't believe there's anything that we can do right now. So I'm just gonna go to bed. And we are oh. going to continue on. From tomorrow on, we're officially the Phantom Thieves. I hope we find a big shot we can target soon. Uh oh. We're visiting the Velvet Room. What you want, Igor? First off, I'd like to begin by congratulating you. To think our master would give words of praise. You better treasure this moment, inmate. Okay. You have encountered allies who share your ideals, and you have found your place in reality. The time has come. Your rehabilitation will soon begin. <laughs> I still don't know exactly what this rehabilitation is, so I don't understand. <laughs> Just shut up and listen, mate. <laughs> Fine. You have a special potential. However, that must be refined into a useful power. It oh, is yeah? weak now. That is Oops. the rehabilitation cast upon you. Wait, what did he say? It is weak now. But refining it shall grant you the strength to stand against the coming ruin. Coming ruin? There are various means by which you may gain the power to resist the ruin. Fighting shadows and gaining experience is one way. The fusion process I taught you prior is another. This is all possible because of our master's guidance, inmate. Okay. Though it may be presumptuous of us. We have words of wisdom as well. When you're out in reality, you better hone your relationships with those you have contracts with. Oh, I plan to. Spending time with those people will lead to the cultivation of your relationships with them. If you've got time to waste, you'd better visit your contractors, inmate. Fine. That is another source of power to evade the ruin that our master has mentioned. Thanks to the contracts you formed, your heart is steadily gaining the power of opposition. It seems the real Bro's got some bloodshot eyes. This is a I don't think he sleeps very well. Occasion. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it 
a gift. Oh, a gift. Thank May you. May devotion to your rehabilitation grow even deeper. I have high hopes for you. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing even deeper. Oh, yay! My eight slots. Power stock, yes. The time has come. Return to your brief moments of rest. And don't forget to go talk to your contractor's inmate. I'm playing on it. Yeah, yeah, I've already done it. I wish I had money. I'd kill for a real breakfast. Have you heard? What about Big Bang Burger? The one on Central Street is holding a contest right now. The Big Bang Challenge or whatever. If you go at night, you can eat for only 500 yen. You gotta eat one of their giant burgers though, right? How can anyone actually finish that? Still, 500 yen is a steal. Wow. A huge burger, huh? Interesting. I bet giving that a go will increase your guts. I'm not ready to voice act. <laughs> like you heard last week, gym class is canceled today. Instead, I'm supposed to give you some guidance. Oh boy. The gist is, don't go around talking about the incident. That's all. Okay. The police are still investigating Mr. Kamoshida, so I can't say anything myself. As a teacher, though, I'm ashamed for not having noticed that a student was suffering like that. I'm not defending him, but as a colleague, he just seemed like, well, a normal person. Yeah, they Honestly, usually do. It still doesn't feel real. I guess people can have multiple sides to them. <laughs> the teachers have it rough, huh? Oh yeah, I just remembered something I learned about psychology. They say that humans have several different personalities hidden in their subconscious. Yep. Different personalities? Oh, to be clear, I'm not talking about multiple personality disorder. These different personalities can be a different gender or a different age from you. I mean, if you think about how gods and monsters and myths were first based on the human image, if you actually saw one of those personalities with your own eyes, it might look like a monster. Mm hmm. Hmm. You all seem more alert than usual. Also known Did as a I persona in this game. Talk about something that interests you? Well, I'm just saying what I've heard. It feels like I just now understood what I learned long ago. I feel like gaining that knowledge made me a little bit smarter. postings on the phantom aficionado website i want to make my friend apologize for not returning the stuff i lent him Ugh, deal with that yourself <laughs> hey those girls you know that phantom thieves rumor about stealing kamashita's heart i wonder if it's true sure is baby be made up. do you seriously believe they exist but look what happened to kamashita he probably just couldn't keep hiding it after that girl tried to kill herself. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. I guess there's no way they really exist. Most importantly, it seriously sucks that our school is going to be known for stuff like this. <laughs> I wonder if it'll affect our college entrance. That's probably a normal reaction for now, but they'll see soon enough. If we can take care of two or three famous guys, people will have to believe we exist. So about those big shots, they don't have any leads yet, right? Plus, there's that rumor about you two threatening Kamoshida, too. Looks like Bro. you just have to live a normal, honest school life for the time being. Still, make sure you stay prepared just in case anything comes up, all right? I'll keep an eye out for info on any big shots that might be coming around. And I'll try to dig up some dirt online. Oh we boy, some dirt. Phantom Thieves group, but we can't even find a target. There, there. I guess sometimes things just don't go the way we want them to. Excuse me. <gasps> Did you wish to see me, Principal Kobayakawa? You saw the state Kamashita-kun was in, didn't you? 
It's as if his personality has completely changed. Something is definitely wrong here. I'm not sure I follow. Guilty conscience. I've heard, it appears as though some students were meddling in his business. If they did something to him, who could they be? Are you saying that these students may have caused Mr. Kamashita to change? That is what I wish to know. Even if it takes some probing into student matters, I would like you to look into this one. It is true that there are many rumors regarding Mr. Kamashita. Do you mean all of this talk about those phantom thieves? It is undeniable that Mr. Kamoshida has changed in some way. I'd like to have a grasp of the cause. This shall also ensure that I handle the mass media and police in the correct fashion. Oh. I will continue speaking to Mr. Kamoshida myself. Unless you find whomever did this, these irresponsible rumors will likely never die down. Don't you agree? You have been at the top of your class since day one. Your conduct is good, and teachers favor you. I could write you a recommendation for any college of your choosing, Makoto Nichima. Thank you. Your lineage must certainly play a part in this excellence. Your sister is still young, yet she holds an admirable position at the public prosecutor's office, no? Prosecutor's office, huh? Something disappointing Sound familiar? That wouldn't reflect very well on your sister. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> How wise. It's no wonder you're our student council president. I'd appreciate if you'd look into this as soon as possible. I ask that you begin at once. Bro's yes. calvo as hell. If you'll excuse me then. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, sir. My apologies for troubling you at such a busy time. Yes, it's about the matter we discussed earlier. I have all bases covered. The investigation will begin immediately. Mm -hmm, of course. Yes, I will get results. I should be able to update you soon. Well, then, Shady. I must be going. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> yeah, hang up on. The police are really here. I saw them at the entrance. I saw them too. They were talking to the teachers. That change of heart thing is seriously amazing, huh? I hope they don't find out we're responsible. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. There's no proof it was us. We don't need to worry. You, sh you sound sure of yourself. But I mean, haven't rumors been going around about how, how you guys threatened Kamoshida? The world's Kamoshida shouldn't know anything about what actually happened to him, though. Still. We did what was right. Don't go freaking out over some label. I guess that's true. Man, I really can't wait to keep living this devil life. Alright, Ren. We're, we're gonna be counting on you. Hey, are you listening? <laughs> oh, no. You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Whoa, that was an epic dodge. I can't believe you dodged Ishimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> well, whatever. Moving on. Hey! Oh, you've got your entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. Oh. Hey, have you seen that phantom aficionado website? Hi, Nishima. I've heard of it. I'm the one who started it. Um, you guys are the phantom thieves, aren't you? What? Sorry. Although, if things really are as I think, I should keep it a secret. Oh, uh, yeah. Kamoshida used me. I did some horrible things to you guys. This isn't much of a way for me to apologize for it. But if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. That's great, but... I'm glad to hear that. It's not just Kamoshida. 
There are tons of evil adults out there. Damn I'm right. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will do something. They can't let this end after just one target. That's why I wanted to make a forum where people could post their problems. <laughs> there are probably a lot of people who have high hopes for the Phantom Thieves' next move. So, I've also implemented an anonymous poll on the site. Do you believe in the Phantom Thieves or not? I want to work on this forum so eventually it'll be packed with tons of supportive posts. I'd really like to help out in the Phantom Thieves' acts of justice. Can I, please? Sounds like fun. I'll live up to your expectations. I promise. You better. I sense abundantly high expectations for Mishima. Ooh. Besides the public's reaction to your group, there were others who supported you. Obviously. Someone who enthusiastically cheered the Phantom Thieves on. Perhaps they were quite close. Maybe. What do you have to say to that? <gasps> I, am I am thou. Thou, thou art I. I. Thou, thou hast acquired a new vow. vow. They shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the moon persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. <gasps> Backup members earn XP now. Not that it matters yet because there's only four of us. See ya. We heard all that. Jeez. It was a little awkward trying to figure out when to walk over here. <laughs> so that forum is Mishima Kun's. Has he figured out our identities? Even so, I think it'll be. Were you fine. listening? Obviously he did. Cool. I guess we should have a little chat about this later. I will say though. A forum where people can post problems may prove unexpectedly useful. Anyways, we gotta get looking for a new target. And we need to stay sharp until we manage to find one. Once we do, we'll have to head into another palace. So we should prep our equipment and... Wait! Oh, crap! Uh, what's Bro, right what'd here? you forget now? Don't we have an exam coming up? Judging by that reaction, I'd assume you're going to struggle this time too. <laughs> of course he it's is. Not like you're any better. All you're good at is English. I'd rather that than be bad at every subject. <laughs> Even your Japanese is questionable at best. <laughs> What's questionable is whether you're really even a human. <laughs> good comeback, huh? Let's just sure did. Bring it. Will you two stop it? That's not even a fair fight. Ryuji just has to kick him and it's over. Let's not draw any attention to ourselves until we find our next target. Don't forget to study, though. I'm not getting blamed if your grades start dropping. We can't go visit Ryuji anyway, so time to say hi to An. It feels like someone was watching me this morning. What should I do? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to at least ask. No, but then... Lady An seems distressed. Depressed. Uh, um, never mind. It's nothing. Uh, I'm fine, seriously. Besides, I wouldn't want to trouble you. Tell me about your problems. Are you sure? You're so reliable. I guess it wouldn't be so bad talking to you about this stuff. <gasps> so, what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady Anne? Duh. Alright, let's go to the diner. Well, I'm gonna go walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Um. Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about, Ren. It's Shiho. 
Well, I went to visit her in the hospital. She she said she was sorry. Sorry for not telling me about Kamoshida, about all the things he was doing to her. But it was my fault too. I didn't realize how much trouble she was in. I wasn't there for her. So, I apologize as well. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. Mhm. Mm I can I finally got to tell her everything. I couldn't bring myself to say before. Hey. And um remember how Kamashita threatened to take Shiho off the team if I didn't sleep with him? I had only agreed to it so that I wouldn't ruin Shiho's dreams. But now that I think about it, he never would have put her on the bench and cost his team games. I seriously should have dared him to try and take her starting spot. But in the end, maybe I just didn't believe, didn't believe in her ability. Kamoshida had the upper hand. But, but... That might have been true. But honestly, I think it was all because of how weak I am. That's why I believed Kamoshida's authority outweighed Shiho's own ability to earn her starting spot. Um... Ren, do you remember the last time I talked to you like this? When I got that phone call from Kamoshida and cried? I felt so alone, scared even. But because you were there for me, I decided not to go. I was a little surprised at how pushy you were about it, but I see now you just wanted to help. Thanks. Thanks. I couldn't just ignore you. You're so kind, Ren. Back then, people used to call me all sorts of names. <sighs> Prissy bitch, Kamashita's girl. I got tired of it pretty quickly. But to tell you the truth, someday I want to be able to take labels like that in stride. Hey, hey um, personas are the power of the heart, right? That means if my heart gets stronger, my persona will too. So, I want to strengthen my heart. And I want to use that strength to help the people around me. I hope we can save people from trouble, just like we did when we changed Kamoshida's heart. Aww. No, honestly, I don't even know what strong is. But I'm going to find the answer, I promise. Let's find it together. Huh? Really? Thanks! Thanks! I feel like I'm a little stronger already. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really count though, huh? <laughs> well, I'll be relying on you. Let's train together and make our hearts super strong. I sense a heightened motivation from On. Oh, I was late. <laughs> All right. A strong heart. Hmm. Oh yeah. How about this? I won't get any refills on fountain drinks. I mean, they're free, so not getting any would mean you have a strong heart. Huh? Is that not right? Bye. Well, see you later. My baby girl right there. Oh, hey, it's me. Thanks for listening to what I had to say earlier. Now I feel like I have a better idea of who I want to be. Also, I'm going to think of how I can strengthen my heart. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I hope you'll join me again next time. Of course, you're my teammate. Thanks, you're such a nice guy. Oh, how about you help me come up with ways to train my heart? Just let me know when a really good idea hits you, okay? Bye! <laughs> Goodbye, on. Oh. That's the key to this place. <gasps> you get to lock up from now on. We get Papa's I'm key. Waiting for you to come home. Don't start any fires, okay? I'll try not to. But there's a fire burning in my heart. <gasps> I can now leave Zhongyan Jaya at night. Hey! Do you want to go out now that we're allowed? Oh, and come to think of it, shouldn't we stop at the airsoft shop and ask about that paper bag? Hey, hey! Oh, right, you've been carrying around that sooty armor. How about you wash that over at the laundromat? Okay. Oh no! Ryuji found a place for us to train! Oh well, he's at what, like rank 5 already? Let's work on- we, we need to work on On. Um... 
UI and the street orator. I'm just gonna say it now. I don't know if I'm gonna do the street orator. His confidant is. I didn't even do it in my first playthrough. It just. He's annoying. <laughs> I don't like him that much. Um. I mean, we can. I did say I wanted to try and max out as many confidants as possible. Let's do it. Let's go with. Um. UI first, though. Because we have, uh... Oh, that's right. To even start to... Even start the street orators thing, you have to have a job. And I'm not doing that yet, so... Oh, gosh. I forgot. I don't know how to do his voice. <laughs> so... Hey, you came at just the right time. Slight change of plans. That paper bag from the other day? All yours. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me. Understand? I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I don't know any- I don't know about it. You- we clear? Gosh, I can't read, dude. <laughs> if that's it, then go home. You can go window shop somewhere else. Hey, that modified model gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about what was inside the bag. Don't freak out, Ren. Just ask him. <sighs> I should be able to ask him at my current guts level. So, what are you here for? I want to talk about that bag. Is that right? That was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who was interested in it. You helped me out by smuggling it out of here so that I didn't get caught by those detectives. You're an accomplice now, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. Um, I want to see more. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Want to talk in the back? Who the hell are you? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm an enthusiast. At your age. So what? Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. <laughs> You're a strange one, kid. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. What could work? I can grant that wish of yours, but you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes I got millions of yen, bro. Units, depending on how I feel. Oh wait, I, I just said that. I didn't actually mean it. <laughs> this sounds suspicious. Is that right? Yeah. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business, smuggling goods, destroying evidence, and as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. What we could get a say? special menu? Okay. I like me some special menus. What's your goal here? That's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Okay, then, fine. Fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. I'm not good at following orders. We won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept this offer. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay. I'll work on that special menu for you. Hell yeah. Grateful. <laughs> I've made a deal with EY. I should be able to ask him to customize guns for me now, in exchange for helping him out. I love that song. What you got, girl? It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. I'm an enthusiast, sure not a hobbyist. Were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Maybe one day. Spill it. I, I am thou. Thou, thou art I. Thou, thou hast acquired a new vow. It, it shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the, With the birth of the hanged man persona. I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. <gasps> so 
episode begins. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, I... run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Oh boy. Be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Sure. <laughs> That's my contact info. When I text you from that ID, it'll be because I need help from around the shop. Just so you know, if you get caught or anything, I never met you. Nothing to do with me. We clear? If you want something, we're gonna have to work. You're gonna have to work for it. Leave it to me. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if you're actually up to it. Point is, we got a deal now, so you'd better put in some good put in some work Later. okay that's it for today head on home part-timer <laughs> sauce please <laughs> hey, move a little more to the right I can't see the screen now for today's train news today's headlines are volleyball beating investigation the school claims to have left teaching methods up to its staff it's denied once again that it had any knowledge of the beatings. Pollen warning as of next week. Greater volume in arriving later than in previous years. Hotspots of Tokyo. Experience art in Shibuya. The Madarame exhibit opens next week. Hmm. People are really talking about the Kamashita incident. No one knew in this No one in this car knows that we're the ones who did it. Oh yeah, you've got exams starting on Wednesday. Don't tell me you forgot. Anyway, today we'll be talking about the tale of the bamboo cutter. Most theorize it's the oldest story in Japan. For some, it's the oldest science fiction story in the world. But if you ask me, it's the oldest story in Japan about a terrible woman. I mean, Princess Kaguya gives her suitors absurd tasks, demands fancy gifts, then runs off to the moon. Some men lose, lose their fortunes, some are humiliated, and some even get serious wounds or go blind. Women like Princess Kaguya actually show up in a lot of stories from around the world. Now then, either kun. Do you know the answer? You've probably heard that a woman who uses her wiles to lead people to their doom is a femme fatale. So what's the literal translation of the phrase femme fatale? Fatal woman, baby. Exactly. That is correct. The answer is Fatal Woman, in French, of course. Some famous examples are the witch Morgan Le Fay from Arthurian legend and Queen Salome from the, from the Bible, not to mention the wild, seductive dancer of opera, Carmen. Whoa, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Also, Carmen, that's Anne's persona. Let me just warn you that exams aren't so easy that you can pass them with a single night of cramming. Take your time and make sure you understand the material, okay? You heard her. Must be rough being a student. Well, we have nothing to lose from studying. Give it all you've got. I'm already smart. I don't need to study. None of these posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. Oh, lots of boyfriends. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? We can wait and see for a little longer. Then worry about coming up empty handed if it happens. <gasps> oh. What well, would you look at who it is? is off limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm. Interesting combination. What about it? Great way to start a conversation. Also, that was rude, Makoto. <laughs> it 
seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Somewhat. Anyone who attends this school would have interacted with him, whether they liked it or not. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamashita used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamashita, I mean. Hell yeah, I do. What's all this about? My friend here's an upstanding guy. <laughs> I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamashita. The rumors about that odd calling card esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima Senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. <laughs> Anyways, are we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah, oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off. I got a horse, but it ain't in the room right, right now, so. There's no horseplay happening here. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? Bye bye, Makoto. We'll see you again oh, soon. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Be careful. Talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so late. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Oh, that's right. Huh? Mission? Follow me. I forgot it was introduced this what soon after Kamoshida. Just do as I told you. Alright, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's badmouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker stalking someone? That Are we shocked? Alright, now get the meta nav ready. <laughs> government Don't workers being corrupt? Alice? No way! Hey! What happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? Let's go! What I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. <laughs> we need a name and a place, right? The name is. Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. Ah, oh, jeez. That again? <laughs> Mementos, was it? Candidate found. We got a hit? Just as I thought. Everyone disappeared. It kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. <laughs> underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, wait up, cat. is this place? 
Wait, our clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us. We're still safer here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor, but it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? That is how sharing works. The collective unconscious. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is... Using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different, though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we going to be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. <laughs> Watch this. Morgana! Rose a car. <laughs> Ladies first. A car? No way. This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turning into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. <laughs> For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. What? Why a bus, though? <laughs> no idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could. But that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! <laughs> You mean you're not a Tesla? You know how to drive? <laughs> I'm the bust of my boobs. I have no license. <laughs> um, safety first, okay? We're going down I-90 at 40 at 95 miles an hour. All right then, we'll leave the driving to you. Actually, I should say M90. It's not an interstate, it's mementos. <laughs> he just I climbs over the seat. There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. And that tickles. Lower. Lower. Oh, there. That feels so good. Bro. Uh, is that Burren I hear? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. Meowdery? You're a car, you're not a plane. <laughs> this bus is the worst thing ever. It's so weird. Morgana's weird. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I guess it'll be strange driving the tracks like this in the real world. Anyway, Nagonohara's somewhere in here, right? Most likely in a segment of his own creation. Don't worry, it won't be the size of a palace. Our next step is to find an entrance to that segment. And what's this entrance gonna look like? I have no idea, but strong distortions should be a pretty obvious visual clue. So we just gotta so we just gotta go wandering around for it then? What a goddamn pain in the ass. See how weak these guys are. Right. The first move is off. 
Oh! Oh! Oh, perfect. Mor Morgana? That was a freak. <laughs> So he said it again. Why is he like this? <laughs> okay. No map. Oh, oh. Oh wait, I just realized. Um Oh yeah, that's not that good at all. Not compared to my other weapons. I love that I can just use a gun. <laughs> I don't even need my personas right now. All right. <laughs> Shadow defeated. Actually, let me see. Okay. Stats. Oh gosh, she has 47,000 XP until he levels up. He's good. You're almighty. We need physical. This is evasion for all magical attacks. The boy ripped to swords HP SP. Um. Pow 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 pow. That's it. That's all I need. Pow 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 pow. Okay. Easy win. They were nothing. I spotted a shadow joker. Okay, so what did I? I'm the one driving here. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> we myriad this. A thousand damage. Guys, there's just no chance. Bro, EA, can we not right now? Are you gonna pop up again? All there, right. while we're at it. Let me just switch over to Okay, there's that. Yeah. Gotta go beat up more shadows real quick. Not really, but you know. Crack shot! Ooh! What's that? That's true, they were nothing. <laughs> I 
I love myriad truths. Thousand yen. Sheesh. The fact that that's doing a thousand damage, that's crazy. Okay, there's that. Doesn't matter yet, but... And that's a dead end. Now we go back to the obvious distortion where... Nakanohara is. Didn't even have a chance to respond or to react. <laughs> All it needs three bullets, baby. I don't need a whole chamber. <laughs> Dude, the hell is this? It's all wavy and shit. This is the place I sent. This is the place I sent the target up ahead. Now, are you ready, Joker? Y y you saw me taking down those slimes, right? Doing a thousand damage a pop. <laughs> hey, something's there. That seems to be Nakanohara's shadow. Let me see. Some front desk guy at City Hall became a stalker, right? I don't know how much evil he's done, but we have to do something if he's bothering other people. Alright, we'll go talk to him. Rose grumble and there's no way we're talking. Who are you? <laughs> it's Peter Skloin, dude. <laughs> Wait, no, I can't say that. He just looks like him. Peter Squint's a good good guy. He's the greatest guy. That's toxic, bro. <laughs> We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame. What the hell's this guy going on about? What about Matarame? Get ready. Here he comes. He's a goblin. Oh, I never noticed that his hair was a braid. Or that it was a braid, not a tail. Now that I finally have what's rightfully mine, I'm not going to let you take it away. Look, this is a winner-takes-all world. Come fight me, and I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> me I got this, man. Okay, Ryuchi. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, talk. Show me the mud. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We just saw that attack. That XP, baby. Five hundred thirty-three. Yeah, this is why I didn't ask for money. <laughs> Ooh, we all leveled up. It's a step forward. Yay! I'm, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted. Used me and then disposed of me. Which person? Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? The buzzwords. <laughs> thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Maharami's heart before more people fall victim to him? Change Maharami's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, 
This will make a perfect reward. Attachment pearl. Huh. Beware the clingy ex-boyfriend. So Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well, the lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Mm, you do have a point. Either way, was my god not just itching his butt? <laughs> prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, we can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. I love me some cash. Sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it. Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What? There's more? Don't worry. It won't take long. Well then. Why don't we leave this room first? Oops. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the button jamming. Do you want to go back? Yes. Guess we gotta do it. So, what else do you want to do? There's something I'd like to check in an area farther down. That platform we saw earlier should be the way down. Let's head there first. Wait, you've been here before, right? Don't you got like a map or something? That would hold no meaning in this place. The layout changes every time you enter. For real? Wait. Wait, so our path changes too? This place is the fewest cognition of a countless number of people. It's constantly shifting. Even so, our destination should be pretty close. I'm counting on you, Joker. Um, Not that way. Hey, bud. Think you can fight me? I'll have you know, I've got myriad truths. <laughs> yeah, nice. A spectacular victory. All right. They were nothing. That's so true. Oh, hold on a sec. You guys hearing something? Oh, the train. I'm like, huh? Trains are totally running. Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. Yeah, but I thought this was a palace. And maybe this is how the public views this place? I don't know. I mean, people go through this darkness every day. Forget that. You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. Obviously. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. Wait, is this way? Turn me around. This way! Alright, there it is. The thing I want to make sure of is inside. Creepy. And a dead end at that. Why does it even exist? Now hold on. Just watch. This is most likely not an ordinary wall. It's a Mine magical is wall. And just like that, an escalator was born. It opened. A new area has been confirmed in the depths. Updating guidance information. Thanks, Metanav. when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? So you're thinking there's gotta be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back, and I'll explain more once we're home. Da 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 da. Oh no! Look, a person in mementos. Definitely not a person. Maybe it's this one. Ooh, 
Ooh, tasty. Hey, what's he drinking? Oh. Hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. So. Yeah. <laughs> Should be asking you that. Obsessed with Minecraft eggs? Well, here's your next best thing. A literal egg child. <laughs> I mean, look at his hair. <laughs> He's an egg boy. Cat? What took so long to come up with cat? And I'm not either of those. Also, Tanuki, I'm pretty sure he's trying to say Tanuki, which is a raccoon bear, which is what uh, Tanuki is, an Animal Crossing. Very popular in Japan. When you said you were looking for flowers, did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones Pretty the lady. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking flower juice counts as studying? No, hey, no it doesn't, Ryuji. You help me with my research? <laughs> Not your form no. of studying. By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. Well, what do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Seems like it could do some good, but we don't know this kid. You gotta be careful. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He, he called me pretty. I mean, it. and it shouldn't be. Surely he's fine. He called me pretty. Boring, right? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> you call me pretty lady. This is what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. What do you say? Well, are you going to help me find the flowers? <laughs> oh my god, it's just staring at the camera like the office. <laughs> he is heartbroken that honest is <laughs> so happy about being called pretty lady. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let's help him. Thanks. <laughs> Hang on a second. We still have no Oh my god. Don't go thinking us just yet, bud. <laughs> that was a charged bud. You seem grumpy. I am not a cat. And I'm not grumpy. Uh, oh. You're shouting. Okay. You are grumpy. Um, are you hungry? I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. <laughs> You can have this. Milk taste cookies. Thanks, but I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Oh, boy. Oh. So remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. Ah, <gasps> the little honk. How was that? If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? <laughs> I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. I totally forgot. Hey, there's something I've been meaning to give to all of you. Something for us? Something for us? Yeah, the thing is, I picked up something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. Huh? huh? What the heck is that? It's a star! At least that's what they look like, so that's what I call them. A star? Um, um so... What, what about it did you want to show us? Uh, Humans make wishes on stars, right? That's so interesting. Stars granting wishes. So this star is going to grant you wishes. Wait. Our wishes? <laughs> or, it would be nice to think that. Nice to think that? Seriously? 
I'll give this to you. It's so sparkly and beautiful. You want it too, don't you? It's a sign of our friendship. I know what that is. Doing good. Off I go now. Good job. Hey, wait. <laughs> hey, wait. Well, there he goes. Uh... A star, huh? He said it'd grant our wishes or something. I highly doubt something like that would actually happen, even in mementos. Well, I guess you can at least try making a wish. Okay, I wish for all you can eat parfaits with zero calories. An extra large beef bowl with pork soup on the side. Nothing's happening. Was Skull's wish too petty? Girl, you started this. You're one to talk. Hmm. I guess we don't just we don't just happen that easy. I guess things don't just happen that easily. But we can't just throw the thing away. Hold on to it for now. Well, that was a bit ex unexpected. Let's head back now. Mentos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However, I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos. No matter <laughs> a cat with the amnesia, what will he do? No what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I... I just needed pawns. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll... Be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy? Or might you be a girl? <laughs> Could it be a car? That is a possibility. <laughs> Morgana with he it pronouns confirmed. I just can't be sure. Why not? In any case, of course I'm male. I mean, I what is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that what does that mean? <laughs> changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. First, <laughs> Big you need to find a way to get through your exams. I gotta study. <laughs> you can now go to Mementos. This is where you will change the hearts of petty criminals who do not have their own palaces. For now, be patient until the next target appears. Hee <laughs> hee. Guy's kind of weird, right? Man, that Naganohara guy is a piece of cake. If we can take down some kind of big target next, we're totally gonna get famous. Hey, we're trying to help people, not get famous. But if people don't know who we are, how are we gonna give them any courage? He's right. See? I don't think that you're necessarily wrong. But should we really be doing this at all if we don't have a reason, like with Kamashita? You mean we shouldn't be sticking our noses in other people's business? I don't know, man. If someone's in trouble, it's only natural to want to help them out. I mean, I, I agree with that. And I guess I, I was glad we were able to solve the stalker case. Plus, what good are our personas if we don't use them for good? Don't you agree, Ren? Anything for you, Ryuji. Yeah, you're right. We don't got much time to be arguing over this either. That Madarame guy bothers me. Yeah, but no one care carried but no getting carried away, you understand? And don't do anything to stand out like fail at your all your exams. 
Oh, crap. Speaking of that, I haven't studied at all. What about that star, the one Jose gave us? Wonder if that could help us ace the exams. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Hell, I'd settle for just not failing. Bargaining isn't going to help you here. We wouldn't use it for that in the first place. Maybe you should just, I don't know, put some actual effort in? we still got time. Fine. What's up? Is it Ryuji? Did he mention anything about mementos? If there's anything you want to know, I can tell you. Okay, um, well, there's nothing to do, so... And so it begins. Morgana's so freaking annoying. He just bosses us around like crazy. Like, bro, you're a cat. I'll push you down the stairs. Let me do what I want to do. <gasps> hey, I saw on the forum. Nice job sticking it to that stalker. My fan of aficionado website came in handy, didn't it? <laughs> There's so many of Mishima, my boy! What are you talking about? It's okay, you don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. Anyways, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you could come hear me out about our, about your future actions. I'll be waiting at the diner in Shibuya. You gotta swing by. Is he up to? Have things been? You know, with the special activities. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. <laughs> I've been staying up managing the fan site all night. Every night. I think it's called PR. <laughs> fan site? The Phantom Thieves Aficionado website. Fan site for short. You that makes sense. Name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of pea thieves propaganda. Pea thieves. There's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved, while filtering out the haters. We need the phantom thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? You've done good, kid. my all-nighter's worth it so actually i really want to know how you punish people don't worry i'm not gonna ask it wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me after all the phantom thieves have a reputation for being secretive i i wish i could be more like you guys somehow but i'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do you can leave that part to me I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, <laughs> uh, at my fingertips. It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. That's so many words. <laughs> uh, strategic what? Strategic image management representative. Rolls off the tongue. Not at all. Anyway. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> you see me. <sighs> I've gotta say though, managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. They defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. But you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Our Ooh. quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. I believe in you, Mishima. Mishima seems motivated. <gasps> Rank two. All right. <clears throat> I might be overworking myself, though. Maybe just a little. Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on this spot if I was. Bro's been awake for three days doing nothing but moderating. 
See you later. <laughs> oh, hey there. Listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier and found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. It got me so mad, I'm not even sleepy anymore. At this point, I might as well pull an all-nighter fighting back. Dude, you already haven't slept for like two days. <laughs> Wanna be the mom friend? All-nighters can mess you up. <laughs> um, Calm down. Don't worry, I'm cool. Staying up after an all-nighter gives me this natural high, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Well, duty calls. I better set out for the Battle of the Fansite. Time for a wild night of modding and banning. <laughs> hey. Your midterms are coming up, aren't they? Better make sure you study. What about that diner in Shibuya that Mishima told you about? Could be a good place for studying, right? You have permission to go out at night, so no time like the present. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check out the TV? No. Um... Soger is not up. UI is though. Let's go hang out with Mr. Gundad. Hey. I heard a teacher from some high school got arrested. The news said it was a PE teacher who was a gold medalist, but wait. A gold medal? Whatever, I'll mind my own business. You're a real one. So, you're here because you saw my message, right? I wanna work. There's a job I need you to do. Don't worry, it ain't that difficult. I'm sure you can handle it. <clears throat> Let's hang out with him. I'm gonna meet with the guy at the diner after this. I need you to sit close by. When I give you the signal, call me. The signal is when I cough. Got it? Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Well, I'm gonna walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. A diner, huh? I thought only old farts came to places like this. You've really changed, Mune-san. <laughs> huh, don't knock this place. It's pretty decent and cheap, too. Huh, this is coming from the guy who beat the crap out of 50 rival gangs. Gang members. You don't need to exaggerate. Anyways, what do you want to talk about? Yeah. Oh, right. How's Sudasan doing? Same as always. Why? What's up? Oh, nothing. Just saw him round the other day. Hold up. Didn't you two cut ties when you left the family? Why are you asking about him now? I mean, we were both young. I just figured it's about time we buried the hatchet. I can't go up and talk to him, though. Oh, get- I get ya. You're still trying to hold up the old code of honor, huh? Okay, I'll tell him you want to meet him. Don't say stupid shit like that. <laughs> no, you fool. I just want to end up in the, in the same place at the same time. It's gotta look like a coincidence. In that case, Shiba- Sh Shiba Aura? Shiba Aura might work. You know, we're talking about re redeveloping it. <sighs> Shiba Aura. I seem sick. Huh? You sick or something? Nah, it's just a cold. Hello? Yeah, how's it going? What? Your orders all are wrong? My bad, I'll get back and take care of that straight away. Sorry. Sorry, I gotta run. Work shit. Let's talk some other time, yeah? Mm, see ya. Hey. Don't hang up. Moss is still on the phone, right? Just stay quiet so I can hear what he's saying. Sudasan, it's Masa. Eli was asking about you. I did just like you told me, though. The hell are you looking at? I was daydreaming, sorry. Nah, it's nothing. Just some weird kid staring at me. Anyways, Eli probably heard about that deal of yours, and now he's trying to squeeze some cash out of you. Oh, sorry. No, it's. Yes. Sorry. Yes, I understand. A deal. Sounds like there's some weird stuff going down. Who was that guy? Hmm? 
Oh, that's Maza. He's just a guy I know. Not very well, mind you. At any rate, I honestly wasn't expecting too much out of you. But it looks like you're gonna actually be some some use to me. I'll be counting on you, kid. I feel like my bond with EY is growing deeper. Rank two. All right. Good work today. Order yourself something nice as a reward. Oh, and bring me the receipt so I can pay you back for it. Later. Well, later. I feel like helping with helping EY with his work has honed my proficiency. We're getting there. What? Whoa, what's up with the goggles? You going snowboarding or something? I hear the cedar the cedar's blooming later than usual. Climate change and what have you. Ugh, pollen pollen allergies suck. I couldn't go to the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would gush like rivers. That sounds awful. Seems pretty That's right, the new set pollen season was starting later than usual this year. Looks like the pollen problems have only just begun. People are about to have some itchy eyes. This might affect mementos the same way weather does. Morning. Uh. <laughs> you have allergy? No. What's up? Actually, I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. No, it can't be. Oh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. Sure. We are always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. Yeah. We totally didn't see someone staring at you guys yesterday. No. Hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school is kind of different now? I mean, would there be no Kamashita? Yeah, nobody ever talked about him out in the open like this before. That's true. I wish someone would just thank us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamashi has actually been punished for all his crimes. That's victory enough for me. I agree. I wonder what's gonna happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? He's gonna have to deal with people hating him forever. That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. He got what he deserved. For sure. Oh. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site, but I've heard about it at school too. Anyway, there's a guy at school who's bullying has gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. But I bet the fan thieves can do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so this should be a breeze, right? piece of cake. You're amazing. The bully is a brown-haired guy, frequently been standing seen fit, standing outside uh the bully is a brown-haired guy frequently seen standing out front of the school entrance. And from what, I, from what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. I know you can handle this. Oh, we got some info on a new target. I know this is a small case, but we have a name, so we should be able to consider him a target. If we're all here, you want to go to Mementos, right? What are we talking about? Don't we need to study for exams? Let's go. Eh, don't worry about it. Let's ignore the details and just go charging in head first. Um, That's easy for you to say, but we don't even have a target. Let's go. That's actually not a problem anymore. Some intel is coming from Mishima. All right. Oh, perfect timing. Let's just go in right now then. You'll really do any you'll really do anything to study avoid studying, huh? Alright, do you guys remember the most important step the fan of these need to take before they can steal someone's heart? Yes. Come on, just tell us. Oh. oh, do you mean the calling card? But wait a sec, did we send one the last time? The treasure materializes when we change the change the target subconscious with the calling card. That's the rule when dealing with the palace. But in mementos, it seems like we can just go for the target immediately. Wait, what? 
No, we don't need a calling card or nothing? Something else already exists that fulfills that role. Fortunately for us, Mishima put a comment up in the forum saying the Phantom Thieves are coming. For a small target, that's enough of a calling card. That alone will put some fear in them for a while. Even that Nakanohara must have seen Mishima's comments about him in the fan site. And that's why the Nav picked up on him. Can we really leave something like that important? Something that important to someone else? The desires of the Memento Shadows are nothing compared to those of the palace rulers. Still, we need to unanimously agree on our target. No ignoring the rules, even for smaller ones. Anyway, let's get to discussing the intel we've gathered. This intel is on an arrogant brown-haired bully. He's a student at Shooting Academy. Things have gotten a little too far for just bullying, though. He's abusing and blackmailing kids. I'm gonna make him pay. He's the perfect target. Come on, let's take him down. Are you sure you aren't just excited to go to Mementos? Then again, we can't really leave a guy like that be. We should go. No exceptions, right? Yep. Mm, we're good to go if you're okay with that. That's a unanimous decision. Okay, all that's left now is to take down the target and mementos. Okay, I'm gonna head to the bathroom and get another drink real quick. So I will be right back. Alright, let's go to Mementos. 
Yo, how many targets we got? One of them, yeah? Let's do this. All right. I'm, gonna bust loose. <laughs> I'm gonna bust loose. Okay, Ryuji. Oh yeah, I have something for you. Oh yeah, I have something for you before we head in there. Go home. Those were the last I had. You're on your own now, okay? Achoo! Achoo! The pollen's out of control here. Control today. I'll definitely have an- It'll definitely have an impact on mementos. Huh? What do you mean? Well, mementos is affected by the emotions of the public. Um... Wait, so you're tell- you're, So you're saying weather changes people's feelings and that in turn changes mementos? Not just mementos, the shadows inside too. The type of change will defend will depend on what kind of weather it is. This might turn out to be useful. Hey. What happens when there's a ton of pollen? I'm not too sure, but the impact of, on mementos is determined by the uh, by how the public is feeling. How have other people been seeming to to you? Aww. Come to think of it, some of the kids in my class have had bad allergies. They all seem really out of it. Apparently the medicine makes them feel sleepy. I see. There might be a similar effect in mementos then. Let's go. So it'll probably be easier to beat shadows or ignore them completely. Come on, let's go find out. All right. let's start today's job. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to change up the outfits. Because some of these outfits actually change the uh, the music for uh, the fights. And also, I'm just oh, I'm obsessed with their dance wear outfits right now. Actually. Gosh, she's got a fedora. <laughs> this is what I want, not the dance wear with the starlight outfit. That's what I wanted. Yeah, look at them. He's got a crown. What the heck? Okay. Um. Now let's go defeat these targets. Hey, this is where we came last time, right? Yeah, just as I expected. The path ahead is still open. All right, time to check it out. Oops. I'm gonna run around with this for a little bit. Sure am. I knew it. Mementos filled me in on it. But thank you. I should be able to find more flowers deeper down. Mementos filled you in? Good job. Uh, we bumped into that kid, that guy again. Uh, what was his name? You mean Jose, right? He's such an adorable little kid, isn't he? 
Panther, I'm adorable too, you know. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he said he was looking for flowers and wanted our help, right? Sounds like he'll reward us too. Doesn't it seem like helping him would be worth it? I guess. I'm kind of curious about what we'll get. Why don't we go look for him? He'll probably still be around here. Mm. Looking for him is fine and all, but remember that it's risky to stay in one area for too long. There's this one really fearsome shadow mementos. If we hang around too long, it'll hunt us down. For real? Huh? The hell are you talking about? Why didn't you tell us this before? The Reaper. Uh, later on, I will be trying to fight him. I didn't fight him in my original one, but... Hopefully, since I'm grinding level so fast, I can actually beat him. Because he's gonna get an insane amount of ex XP and stuff. We should totally be fine if we find- we should be fine if we find him quickly. Alright, let's go. I love the music. Okay. It's so good. Not an issue. I got a perma lock, perma pick. Masatsu Afuda. I don't know what that is. So her hair has streaks of pink in it. That's so cute. I love on. Jose is looking at my will seeds. Found some will seeds, huh? They're emanating a strong power, but if you collect three will seeds, they might grow even stronger. I'm serious, okay? They do look really cool, though. I'd like to start collecting them myself. I was told to truly understand humans, I need to learn about their desires. I wonder if I'll be able to make my own will seeds after I learn more about humans. I don't know how that- uh, I don't think that's oh, how that works. Sorry, this is yours. Here you go. Let me know if you find any others like it, okay? Learning about desires also teaches me more about humans. I love his coat, it's so cute. Oh! Oh, right! Here, before I forget. Remember when I told you I'd come up with a fun game for us to play in Mementos? I thought of this after seeing the subway in the other world. This will also prove that, you, that you're checking for flowers in all sorts of places here. The stamps have different rewards than the flowers, so let's so try to get as much of both as you can. Stamps. So, got any flowers for me, mister? If you do, let's trade. I've got some really good stuff. So, first off... I can change mementos for you in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and uh, <laughs> get that XP up. There we go. That way then... When, um, 
You want me to change mementos? Sure. Here we go. What are you doing? Just watch. I've learned all about this. You see, the cognition flowing through mementos. It's got these things that are similar to what you humans call pressure points. So, if I do this... <laughs> there. That should have changed it for you. Don't believe me? Just take a look for yourself. Speaking of... Oh, right. I should mention something about those flowers you're collecting. For some reason, you can't leave mementos with them. They'll disappear on you. It's weird. But it'd be so sad to collect flowers just to have them disappear on you. What a waste, am I right? So, don't forget to bring them to me before you leave mementos, okay? Doing good? I should do it. Good job. Good job. Hope we can run into each other again soon. But yeah, uh, that comes in handy late game so that you can uh, grind down here to get levels. Which I don't know if I'll do, but I kind of want to so that I can work on uh, getting my confidant personas that I don't have. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, wait. Only 28 XP with the bonus? That's crazy. Okay. How low level was that thing? Okay, there's that. We found the train platform. Okay, that's a dead end. And obviously the stamps would be here. Um, I've already collected a lot of them. I don't remember how many I've collected. I think it says when I go to leave mementos. You know, this palace's security level doesn't seem to change, even if the enemies spot you. Mementos is different. While other palaces exist because of just one person, this one's from the public. Even from, from that perspective, it'd take more than a few intruders to ma make a mark on the security level. You'd have to do something so bad the entire public sees you as an enemy. So, be careful, okay, Skull? Hey, shut up! I can sense their target somewhere in this area. Let's scour this floor for them. Her all dam or her all foes damage. I freaking love Carmen's design. It's so cool. She is literally a woman stepping on a man and having him with another one on the leash. Like really weapons empowerment is real. because I think it changes anyways. But let me map out the... My wick handle... 
We all? Um, I'm sorry, but that was just me and Morgana. Okay. Good work. Keep it up. <laughs> I just so much damage. <laughs> I'll never be over that. target. It's not even worth going for the XP here. Now lower levels it'll be easier because they're higher level. Then hmm? I can sense the target up ahead. You wanna head in? Oh. That's Takanashi Shadow, huh? This guy's bullying is real bad. From what I hear, it's mostly blackmail, taking money from people, that kind of thing. If we don't make him have a change of heart, his bullying might get even worse. Let's go. Let's go. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's theirs for not standing up for themselves. What was that? That's no reason. That's no reason. How is it their fault when you don't give them any chance, huh? You're the lowest of the low. Bullying people weaker than you, knowing they can't fight back. The hell? You're all ganging up on me too. Aren't you- are you Phantom Thieves some kind of gang? Protectors of justice my ass. Don't act high and mighty with me when you don't know anything. You're the one who doesn't know anything. Let's get him! I already told you. I didn't do anything wrong. Listen to me, damn it. I don't see a weakness. There's always a weakness to gun. Oh. Oh no, I'm afraid. Whatever will I do? Gun. <laughs> Whoo, look at that XP, baby. Yeah. Result. Increase critical rate when surrounded. Okay. But but if I didn't do it, they're gonna hurt me. I don't want people taking my money from me anymore. What? What are you talking about? If I don't go after him, I'm the one who's gonna get bullied. I can't take it. I just can't. Oh, I get it now. There's an even bigger bully ordering this guy around. Who's behind all this? Hey, didn't you just say it's people's own fault for not standing up for themselves? That's... er... Someone please... Someone please help me. Alright. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, you wonderful Phantom Thieves. This guy, fickle fellow, isn't he? I'm counting on you. You guys promised. Yeah. Fine, but you... But you better apologize to those people you bullied. You po uh, Apologize to those people you bullied. So bad at reading. All right, we got a treasure. Request completed. Hey. That went well. What should we do now? Keep exploring? There are no targets in this area. What's our next move, Joker? Let's regroup. Okay. Um... Okay, let's just go back. Oh yeah. 
Joe says that flowers disappear once you leave Mementos. The amount of flowers you've collected so far is 63. You still want to leave? Yes, I don't care. Now returning to the meta to the real world from, Memen from Mementos. Thank you for your hard work. I'm pretty exhausted from going to the metaverse. Let's just take it e easy here instead of going out. Oh, you're back. Okay. Well... I can't really do anything, can I? Okay. Okay. Call me an aroma. Oh, it's gonna be near Oh, okay. I can't train, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I still haven't gotten my nutrients. My plant's gonna die. Well, then. I had a dream where I was just falling, and there was no end to it at all. I, I feel I've gained some nuts. Some guts, <laughs> not nuts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's not the stat name. <laughs> Day 10. <gasps> Looking for- Looks like you're attending school seriously. <gasps> Look who's in you the foreground. Pretty close with Takamaki-san if you're both coming to school together. You just transferred here though. I guess you two really click. I'm good at making friends, what about it? We're in the same class. I see. You seemed a lot closer than that yesterday morning. Okay. I she was a victim of Mr. Kamashita. But was that all there was to it? Yes. Way, closer inspection should clear everything up. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, I don't remember the voice I gave him. Exams start tomorrow. Are you all ready? Shall we begin? Now then, picking up from last time. The end of the Heian period marks the rise of the samurai, which I'm sure you've all been waiting for. As described in the tale of the hike, it was a time when all that was great would fall from grace. It wasn't unusual for the heroes of yesterday to be struck down as rebels of the present day. By the way, sympathizing with the loser or the weak is called magistrate's patronage. That term came from Minamoto no Yoshitsune's position, and it also became a way of referring to him as well. Alright, Aether kun You know the time period Yoshitsune was active in, don't you? Hey, in period. Correct. That's right. He didn't. He supported his brother Yoritomo during the Heian period, but despite his contributions to defeating the Taira, he was driven out by his brother and, and ultimately executed. However, in the centuries that followed, Yoshitsune became more popular as a tragic hero. Wow, really? Edekun seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Wow, you must really be smart to be able to answer a question like that. Rather than siding with the one who has overwhelming power, people prefer the underdog opposing them. It's sort of like rooting for a minor league baseball team instead of an all-star major league one. I can understand that. It's like, if I don't root for them, then who will? Fair point. If you're confident in your exams, you could always liven the day up and head to Mementos. It'd be nice if we could get some info on a target before we went, though. Um, let me see here. Confidant. Ons to Ryuji's four. Stability. to kill. This is gonna be so handy if I do decide to grind in mementos, because it makes so it's so much faster. Yeah, as you can see, when encountering a weak shadow, you may destroy it immediately. Meaning, once I get to mementos, I can just uh, just go right through them and just keep mowing them down. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, let's go to, actually, Luigi, um, to Kimmy. Oops, not that. Hey, I came up with a method of strengthening my heart, but it's kind of hard to do by myself. Will you train with me? I feel I can become closer to Anne. I feel my bond. So, what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady Anne? Thanks. We'll be going to Inokashira Park. It's really big. Well, well, let's meet up in Shibuya and head over there. Over together. Flourishing with natural Buji. This park is the pride of Kichijoji. A natural respite. Get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. All right. Uh, new hangouts by Nukashira Park. You can also invite people. <laughs> Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training's going to go super good today. So, remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do that. How's that? I, I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased by it. What kind of stuff? <laughs> We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. <laughs> I guess I should say something on. Come on, hit, it, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> You're an airhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And? <laughs> that response was annoying. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What else? I love you. Wait! Wait, what? That's cheating! You're disqualified, Ren. Huh? Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? You made the game! Oh well, on to round two. Yes. Bring it on! <laughs> this won't help your heart. Mm. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. It's like I just said that. <laughs> you finally get it. Hmm. Huh, something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I just got an email from my agency. Next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? You can see the fallen in the air. It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models have been sh haven't been showing up at all lately. Then, then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had they have they've had to do for substitutes. That's odd. It's a total mystery. It probably really confuses the staff to see a substitute model showing up too. Though actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their their event. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I only, re only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. Are you lonely? I'm used to it by now. It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our live-in caretaker. It, I didn't really have any friends. Wow, that got dark real f That got dark fast. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost seems like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamoshida first spotted me. And that's how our class started those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from on. All right. Rank three. Oh yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person per se. But she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. <laughs> I hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. Bye. Well, see you later! Hey! 
Hey, it's me! Thanks for coming with me today. So, after we met up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home. Like how a cool, sexy woman would walk. Would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runway walk with me. She had to... She had to have seen me, right? You think she thought I was cool? Could be. <laughs> it almost... It's almost enough to make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. Mm, I guess I still got a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome my obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay, bye! You got a notification on your phone. Make sure you check it, alright? I have a report as your strategic image management represent representative. I just thought of a new way to help you out. I really want to tell you about it. Do you have time today? This may be a good opportunity to strengthen my bond with Mishima. So, what are your thoughts? Do you want to meet up with Mishima? Give me just a second. Exams are coming up soon. You're not getting a jump on studying without me, right? Right? If you're gonna do it, you wanna do it together? I'm in serious trouble. Oh, no. I can't deny my boy Ryuji, but I wanna work on my... Hmm... <laughs> I wanna work on my bond with Mishima, too. Cause I'm only on what, almost rank three with him. Leave it to me. Yeah, that's rank three though. Um, increase his XP earned from battle. Increase his XP earned. By... Um, I don't know when I get that. I assume four, right? It doesn't say. I'm gonna go. Okay, let's meet up in Shibuya. I'll give you the details in person. Sorry, Ryuji. Love you, doll. You it? Oh, I forgot to mention. But we're meeting up with some fangirls today. All thieves are supposed to have some special ladies, right? I've never heard that before. Really? Wait, really? Phantom thieves are supposed to steal girls' hearts. Everyone knows that. Actually. Basically, I met some cool girls at the fan site, and we thought it'd be fun to do an in-person meetup. Oh, that reminds me. They think you're just part of the fandom. I made up this whole story about how we stumbled onto the fan site one day, so let's stick to that. Don't spill the beans, okay? <laughs> We're part of the fandom? That's what users of the fan site call themselves. It's really great. At, it's really caught on as the forum's gotten more popular. Um. Either way, you should be excited about this. Mingling with your loyal, loyal supporters is, an, is a noble cause indeed. Plus, remember how I said I'd help publicize the fantasy, Phantom Thieves? This is just the beginning. <sighs> Though, to be honest, I never actually met someone from online in person. I wonder if I'll be able to do it right. I did lots of research, though. I know all about footing the bill and buying desserts for the girl. Apparently, if things go well, you might even t t take her home. Hmm? Huh? It's way past her meeting time. Um, hello? It's Mishi. It's the guy you met on the fan site. About our meetup. Huh? You're still at home? And what about your friend? Oh, um... Yeah. Uh-huh. No, we'll be waiting here. Wait, was that a train announcement? I could swear I just heard someone say Shibuya over a loudspeaker. Are you close by? Huh? Oh, no. I'm not calling you a liar. Y yes. Okay, yeah. Oops. So, both of them apparently got sick? They're just gonna stay home. Ahaha. <laughs> huh. <sighs> It seemed like they were really into the idea of the forum. <laughs> uh, oh well, my bad. 
I was so busy with all the new forum posts, I didn't have time to really vet them too much. Don't overwork yourself. No, no. Don't worry, I'm not. This was just a learning experience. All right. But all this aside, I have some really good info ready for you guys. I won't let you down. I'll prove just how useful I can be to the Phantom Thieves. Mishima seems extra motivated. All right. Rank three. Oh, I got Mishima's enthusiasm. Okay. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this, though. I bet those girls would would never have flaked on me if they knew I'm friends with the real life real life Phantom Thieves. Huh. <sighs> Being a guardian of justice isn't so easy, huh? <laughs> Well, let's head home. He's so cute. Oh, hey there? Sorry for dragging you out for no reason. People typically use an alias online, so a lot of them don't hold back when they comment. Mm, I thought it was going to be a great opportunity to hear their opinions on the, on the Phantom Thieves. It's always better to hear that kind of stuff in person, right? Of course. Right? I knew you'd feel the same way. Man, we've could have met some really hot gr I mean, gotten some really good value- some really valuable information. Alright, I'll go back to modding. Trust me, everything's gonna turn out awesome. See ya! <laughs> Lame Raffle Lamau. <laughs> I can't believe it's a school assembly during exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh, I can't believe the school is messing with our schedule like this. I don't care what it's about. It's going to have nothing to do with us students. I wish they'd stop dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. A mandatory assembly during exam week, huh? Sounds rough for all of you. Well, now then, begin. let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the idiom of favoring the magistrate? Um, Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Ooh, that sounds about right. Mm. Let's see, an essay question? This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Minamoto no Yoshitsune is viewed as a hero. Yoshitsune had a brother, right? Uh, I think his name was... Minamoto no Yoritomo. Yeah, that's the one. Yoshitsune worked under Yoritomo. He did a lot for his brother, but they ended up coming into conflict, and in the end, they had to oppose each other. Yoritomo won. Yeah, Yoshitsune committed suicide after being exiled by his brother. But even though he lost, Yoshitsune is the one who went down in history as a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with, fig with figures in power and sympathize more with... the weak. Yeah, not just any weak person, though. People love rooting for an underdog who steams up the powerful oppressors, and Yoshitsune did that to his brother. So the reason Yoshitsune is treated as a hero is because he stood up against the powerful Yoritomo. Yep. He finished in time. Time is up. Put down your pencil, your pencils and put your hands under your desk. Today is the second day of exams. You may begin. Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? Cognition. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Which of the following ma maps can you paint without an adja any adjacent areas being the same color? Both. Ooh, we can do that this. sounds about right. Does everyone have a test? Then you may begin. Name the book that defined malefactor as the chief factor in the progress of the human race. The Devil's Dictionary. Ooh, that sounds about right. What character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive woman, typically with ulterior motives? From Bertal. That sounds about right. A 
school-wide assembly at this time of year? Really? Think we can bring our flashcards in? Kamashita is just one of the many things wrong with the school. I've got to hurry home and study. That Kamashita is still causing us trouble, even when he's gone. Sandals on. <laughs> it's nice to meet you all. Whoa, his voice is sexy. <laughs> My name is. Huh? My name is Takato Maruki. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. No need to be formal with me though. <laughs> His tie's not even folded right. <laughs> you can even call me Doc if that would help you feel more comfortable. Any assistance you need, I'll be. Oh. I guess I'm not really any good for helping with money problems. <laughs> He's so cringe fail. <laughs> Yo. You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? Well, our school's made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And Dr. Uh, Dr. What's his name? Dr. What's his name? Yeah. Wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? Are you G? Hey there. Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you... How do you know our names? Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Those that had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. Um... Yeah, it was. I can definitely believe that. So, what do you want with us? Ah, oh, yes, I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier, but would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. <coughs> huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah, but if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat. Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Um, tell me more of these snacks. Hey, don't fall for that. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. It's in the school's interest, for its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? <laughs> I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. Like ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. How's that sound? Uh... Hmm. Mental training. If I make good use of this, it may aid in our phantom these activities too. There's also snacks. I do love snacks a lot, actually. So, which way are you leaning? I'm gonna do it. I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Hmm. Yeah. Really? Then. I guess it's a deal. I'll be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. Well, we should get going. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for taking my counseling into consideration. 
Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. I've made a deal with Maruki. <sighs> it's hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and prepared to act without hesitating. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Nope. Give me a name. Nope. I am thou. Thou, thou art I. I. Thou, thou hast acquired a new vow. It which shall become, become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains, chains of captivity. With the, With the birth of the counselor persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. His confidant is very important. All right. So I'm gonna work on his, for sure. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Okay, quiet down. Alright, settle down. I have an addendum to the earlier assembly regarding the counseling you've all been offered. The counselor will be available to you starting after school today in the nurse's office. Dr. Maraki will only be posted here through November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you, s you see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. The school's decided. Visits to Dr. Maraki will be mandatory for these individuals. Yo, you guys go gonna go for it? What, the counseling? It kind of sounds like we're being forced to. I told Maruki I'd do it, but... I don't know if I'm really into that idea, you know? Let's do it. Yeah. Probably be better not to draw more attention to ourselves anyway. I think I'm gonna try going today. Hmm. Counseling, eh? Lady An's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? You betcha. Yes. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome. Are you here for a counseling session? Yeah. Is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time, so long as I'm not already listening to a student. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Shall we get started? Oh, but first, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Sure. Although I, I really only have one thing on my mind right now anyway. Hmm. Yes, I'd say it makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way if you wanted. <laughs> no, it's, it's all right. I know I need to talk s to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. <sighs> I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him. For Shiho. Mm-hmm. And? <sighs> At first, I thought Komashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But... But later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it just gave him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you got the wrong. No. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Mm, right now? Hmm. Oops. 
I'm just hoping Chiho will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamoshida. Yeah. Now there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, it, it'd definitely be better if none of this had happened at all, but... Quite. <laughs> I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up here for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you! I feel a ton better now that that's all off my chest. Be careful. Okay. Huh, good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm Will do! Going. See you around! Well, I went in for counseling. You're going soon too, right? Right, Ren? How'd it go? Hmm, well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I, I think you should go. just go and give it a shot. Dr. Mark is easier to talk to than you think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurse's office, nurse's office in the practice building, right? I'll just pass time in the area until you're done. <laughs> this one's super special. It's not... It's not even anywhere in the forum yet. Anyway, do you remember that bully Daisuke Takanashi whose heart you changed earlier? Well, it turns out there was someone pulling the strings the whole time. It seems like Takanashi didn't have a choice but to listen to what this guy told him to do. But ordering someone to bully other people is a pretty crappy thing to do, isn't it? That's horrible. Right? It's totally unacceptable. This person has to be somewhere in our school, right? You should go take a look around. In the meantime, I'll secretly do a little more research too. If you want to go after this target, we'll need a name. Let's go investigate the school. How are you? Ah, oh, hello. Are you here for a session as well? That's right. Is that so? Dr. Maraki is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while before he even came to Sujin. Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Don't go over selling me too hard though, Yoshizawa-san. I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. All right then. We'll say we get started. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> we made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I see. I see. Mm, thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation here in Aether-kun. Well, full disclosure, the school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. I'm doing okay now. But you weren't before, I take it. Hmm. Oh, try not to push yourself too hard, okay? Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've all, you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an, an, an internal reality? Some conception of themselves they're striving for? for example. Like wanting to be a model student or wanting to be loved and relied on. That kind of thing. But that idea lot idealized reality and the one in, in actuality are often far apart. That gap in response is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much, that kind of suffering is usually enough to twist people up into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admir admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met, huh? But it sounds right. <laughs> not, not even any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong, either, Kun. I'm sorry. Well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, the conversation just took on a life of its own, I guess. Mm. Say. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with my duties as a counselor. 
It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts. What they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with it, I think I'll be able to help able to help a lot of people. So So what? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with that research. All you'd have to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, any time's good for me. I can work around your schedule. And, uh, I've got a lot of snacks, too. You can have them. They're yours. Well, okay. Really? Yes! You're a lifesaver. Well. Let's see. I know. Maybe I could teach you some, trips, some tips for mental training. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up a special regimen for you. If you're dedicated enough, I'm sure you could draw out your full potential. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's our second deal. I feel like my mar my bond with Maruki is growing deeper. <laughs> Detox. Right. Rank two. I know. Oh right. Would it be okay if we traded contact information? I'll contact you when I've got time or when I need some input from you. That should be that should do it. No. Now, I'd better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training in presence in presence. Let's see. First off. Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. Alright. My max SP increased by five. Oh, and here. Never a bad never a bad time for a snack, right? Non static gum. Well. Thank you for your help today. I'll see you around school. Da, da, da. You really spent a long time talking to Maruki. Look how late it is. Well, if you think the sessions are worthwhile, you should try going again sometime. But you should definitely get some sleep for now. Tomorrow's your last day of exams, right? Guess it's bad time, cause Papa Morgana says I can't stay up. Got a strict regimen, and it's all thanks to a cat. <laughs> so sleepy. <laughs> that yawn was so cute. You're failing for sure. So, I don't gotta worry about grades. Uh, morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Uh, no, I'm yawning. So I thought I'd make one Can't one believe you guys. I'm not even tired. This is your fault. Impressive, Lady On. You're quite different from this stupid monkey I know. Dude! Uh, don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Yours is a peanut. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. <laughs> Hey, his fun brain cell works extra hard, okay? You please shut up. You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. <gasps> Am I imagining things? I don't know. What's wrong? What? You see a groper or something? Ew. No, that's not it. It's nothing. Hmm? Girl, clearly it's not nothing. <gasps> Anime scene! Oh, yeah. Huh, I wonder who it could be. Oh my god, that guy got off! Isn't this bad? <laughs> hey, at least act like you care. Fine. Come on. They're such opposite gender bestie goals. They really are. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> hey, uh, are you sure 
it's him, or are you just that self-conscious? I'm not that... Is there something you want? <laughs> That's my line! You are the one stalking me! Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me, ever since the train! Well, that's because... <laughs> oh, not a car again. <laughs> My goodness. I had wondered why you left the car. So this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. <laughs> I saw you from the car. And I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. I didn't even notice the calls from Sensei. But thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. <laughs> what? You're the woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Wait a minute. It's a bit soon for a love confession you just you met. Model for my next oh. Art piece. Never mind. <laughs> He's an artist. Model? All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. <laughs> Ain't this a recruit for some shady business? <laughs> Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Da, 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 Who are you anyways? Da, da, da. Oh, where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My name is Yusuke Kitagawa. <laughs> the way he pushes Ryuji. Residence at his place. I'm striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that, Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. <laughs> you know who that is? Also, the same one that's been all over the place in the mementos. In case you've forgotten. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Reiji's <laughs> face. Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. He is boring <laughs> holes in his skull. To read as a book. You're not planning on going, are you? I think I will. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. How dare he go after Lady On? I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. You are a cat. <laughs> Chill out. Find another cat to fall in love with. Important exposition. You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. What can I say? The world works in mysterious ways. It's true that Matarame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. But he'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? In the metaverse. This metaverse business again? <sighs> Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. If so, a different suspicion arises. And what's that? People have gone mad or lost consciousness, never to recover, like the subway accident in April. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Were you related to those as well? I don't know. Hmm, I see. <laughs> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. Today is the last day of exams, huh? Well, it shouldn't be a problem for you. This has been so easy, I might start yawning. <laughs> you did perfectly. I can't wait to see your score. 
I want to know how long Sai gets in that exposition or in that little section because like if I'm going day by day I've got like a long time to go over <laughs> and I don't know man I don't think she wants to know that I trained for the fourth time in a row <laughs> <laughs> How about you? I'm feeling confident. You <laughs> Anyways, can we stop talking about the exams? Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focus on stuff that's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. It's no use. There ain't any useful info. The number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? There's no point in getting antsy, though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We still have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi then. Or domestic raised eel. We don't have that much left. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? Uh, yeah, did you hear his voice? Oh That's Matthew God. Mercer. Oh, of course not. <laughs> when I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. Besides, this could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? I'm curious, too. Hmm. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? <laughs> fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Appreciating the fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. Well, if everyone's going... It's settled then. Join the fun, Ryuji. <laughs> it should be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow we go to the exhibit with Lady On. I'm curious as now to know if this Matarame has anything to do with the name we heard in Mementos. We can't afford to be late tomorrow. We'd better not go out right now. See, I keep thinking about what Nakanohara said. Could he have been talking about the famous artist Matarame? I mean, who? I don't know any other Matarames, do you? Seconded. Great, that name really stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, you guys never heard of some, ever heard of someone else being called Matarame? It's really not common at all. If what we heard is true, Kitabu Akun is studying under a corrupt teacher. You mean a teacher who treats people like tools? Kitabu Akun's life is probably pretty terrible. You gotta look into this. Okay, well... Oh, you wanna do it? <laughs> Try, dude. Yes. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Nice going! Screw it, let's do protein. Let's do it. Now, let's carry out our plan. We gonna get ripped. Push him past your limit. Mm. <laughs> nice going. Yay. <gasps> I increased by six HP. Ooh, it looks like you're getting results from that protein shake too. Alright. I got it by seven. Well, it's getting late. Why don't we get some sleep? <laughs> Sauce, please. You, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? You came. Um, yeah. 
You really came. <laughs> when you left us those tickets. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Come now. I'll show you around. <laughs> I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw to. Wait, he just blows for you, Gio. Well, see you guys later. Goodbye, Anne. Will Lady Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate Operation the Culvert Cat, okay? I mean, stay in the bag. Listen about Matarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? My students. <laughs> it's rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. Hmm. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day! Oh my gosh. Oh, stop pushing! Ah, there's way too many people! I'm getting crushed! Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, you. Yeah, he's special, all right. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. He seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. I think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <clears throat> Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! He knows something. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. But thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge- We got mobbed on, you don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Huh? If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, 
It's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Uh, yeah. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> what do you think you meant, on? Okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. That reminds me, the home shopping program is airing today. You want to check out the TV? health and cosmetics led by working women everywhere. Sure. Yay. Bedge time. Oh wait. Can I train? Yeah. Try it. Yes. Uh, nice going. All right. Woo. Well then. Let's get started. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's poop that can even heal you depending on your outlook. So, Aether-kun. What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? Mm. Placebo effect. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. Hey, did you get that question? It wasn't even close. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. Nice going. Wow, you must really be smart to be able to answer a question like that. Woohoo! That's just one example, but my point is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that, so come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. The, mind's, the mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe it? Believe in it hard enough? 
Phantom thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. <laughs> the train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Again, you look like a cat. You are a pet to everybody else. The one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Not even close. Oh, kitty. Oh. Shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. <sighs> it's just a creature. What's a creature? Isn't that a kitty? It's um a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is for all the times that you told me to go to bed, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Deserved. Seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? We gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? A high schooler. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist, looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Okay. I hear you went to see Mr. Matarami's exhibit. May I ask what you thought? Ah, uh, it was amazing. Every piece on display was absolutely superb. Mr. Matarami truly is the pride of, of Japan's art world. He's so talented and yet so humble. Mr. Matarami's personal exhibit opened just yesterday, but it's already a huge success. Tickets, unsurprisingly, are extremely hard to come by. Back to you, Ken. Wow. What do you mean? It's got nothing to do with you. He's fooled everyone. You're all idiots. Oh. Wait. Uh. Um. Residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit, though. Okay, let's get going. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> what do you know, old man? Your PNG picture of Japan. address the door plate does say Matarame. uh you ring the bell me the walls won't collapse when i do will they no one sneeze or we'll blow this house down okay who is it sensei is currently um it's takamaki i'll be right out 
People really do live here. Hakamakisu. You two are here as well? <laughs> Sorry, but uh, I'm here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? We read about it online. <laughs> oh gosh. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. Hmm. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... that is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rule this day. <laughs> you will rule this day. Yusuke, <laughs> what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, no, you're not. I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? No. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Goodbye, Yusuke. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, what, he got a double ganger or something? Target too. How's the meta nav? Oh, no. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? Well, obviously. We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No cannon is found. Then what about prison? No cannon is found. Ah, oh, what a pain! Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. <laughs> Might as well at farm. <laughs> Not a single hit. Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Wow, it's so simple. Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? Huh. It's almost like it's common sense or something. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? 
probably would have figured it out once he started walking into the <laughs> What are you doing wandering off? So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! Whoa. The shack is seriously some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. Away we go. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's well, neither was a castle per se. Hacking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? There are probably traps too. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. <laughs> but man, just look at that insane crowd. Well then, it's time we begin our inf infiltration. Uh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Mm. Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find a w our way up over it with over it then. In any case, let's get going. So this palace has... Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that, it's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. But um I love the soundtrack obviously. But this palace the soundtrack is in my top 3 for favorites. It's so good. Um obviously because the palace is kind of poor compared to some of the other ones. It's not as high up. But some of the ones that come up later on, I think, are really good, and I can't wait to get to them so that you guys can hear them. Hey! Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's pretty. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? Now's my time. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So, what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Yes. How suspicious. It's quiet in here. Almost eerily so. Oh. Hey, this is... Oops. It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. Send anything to be freaking out over. Hmm, hmm. the palace reflects this ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Oh, hey, here's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Is someone's name and age? What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. Hey, hey. I'm curious about the other paintings, too. Oh, okay, let's go check out in the other room. Hey. This one has a full name. Keep going. Yes. Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Matarame is famous for having a variety of art styles, but all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the 
Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right. You just what said half of it. <laughs> huh? What? No way. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Water Army's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Hmm. There's some sort of brochure here. What, you find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. I don't remember the chest looking this pretty. Let me go get this one first. Joker! Oh, oh! Parma pick! Neuter cutlass. Is that a pamphlet? This is this is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, yeah. yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says one out of two. Oh. Then the two, uh, then the two out of two has got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now our objective is confirming Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketchy to me. Hmm. Look at this! The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Uh, yeah. Damn it. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... Adios. Like slaves or tools. Yep. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. Huh. What's the I call? wonder. Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Let's do it. That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? <laughs> it's pretty out in plain sight. We should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? 
You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. <laughs> Let's go, Angel's Call, baby. Reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Katagawa kun, Mount Arame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know Mount Arame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're, we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Manorami's worth going out after or not? I don't know, if it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Oh, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey, the package came in for you. Can't imagine what you bought. Let's see what's inside. Aroma machine. Omnivitamin. It's my order from that home shopping program. Yeah. Well. Meow. I guess it's bedtime. Huh. Oh. These little nods. Probably. I knew it. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. He doesn't know what's going on, Niji. No, you're right. It's our little secret, Ryuji. No one has to know. <laughs> Alright, I contacted Kitagawa kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Monorame, remember? That is true. Oops. It sounded like Kitagula kun wants this to be a private picture picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know. I. <laughs> I guess I'll let you guys know. I got a response from Kitagawa kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. <laughs> Peeping pennies on the loose, everybody. Gotta watch out. She got all the Mishima today. It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? <laughs> prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you. <laughs> Did she cut her? No, no. Not at all. I don't know. I feel like she's 
she's got more makeup on or something. <laughs> nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. We're a package deal. We're a trio. Too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? <laughs> no, not really. Well then, let's get started. I'm just gonna say it, but I think this boy gay. <laughs> he wants the perfect model because he can't, you know, he's not attracted to females. Also, I just said females. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Attracted to girls. Gosh. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? <laughs> Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. <laughs> Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Think you're talking to this is too boring so i'm going to scout around a bit how does he say not notice a cat just come out of it's weird how this dude's that bag is. <laughs> is that a lock a door with a hefty lock what could be in there hmm i wonder are you done it's no good what I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. <laughs> that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. It's okay, baby. You can say it. I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We are our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, so plagiarism so helps? Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered It's not really helping if you if he's lost countless people because, you know, they don't like him anymore. There are no victims here. Okay, but he's stealing. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? <laughs> what the F, man? Stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? 
I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me... <laughs> How did you come to this conclusion? I put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. What? We are really jumping the gun here. Really? Like, how did we get here? To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece, to only one of those is going to happen. There will be some inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. <laughs> but that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. <laughs> <laughs> give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're <laughs> done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. Hey, what should we do? I don't know. Yeah, damn it. You got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! What are we supposed to do, on? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! <laughs> this is it's so inconsistent. You, what do you mean you didn't hear him totally in the room? I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How did? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. The uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna drop it. Keep it in your pants, cat. You, know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? Bearing it all? I am not! <laughs> Madarame's no different uh. from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. <laughs> we didn't forget, on Inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Uh, not necessarily. Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. That doesn't make me feel any better about it. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Hideout has moved to the sh from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Tokyo building. It. Yeah. Hey, uh, can I Thingy. talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? Oh the no. Of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? 
Ah, uh, we don't care about art. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Yes, yes I would mind. Get out of here with your bug eyes glasses. I guess we should go home for today. Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding a demanding to paint Lady on noon, then claiming to report us to the police. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I What's have up? Some interesting news. Okay. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh yeah. He wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Okay. Another change of heart. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. 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 That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I found out something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student of his. Student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarabe stealing his work. That's unforgivable. That journalist was looking at Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagula kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that Shibuya pa it's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Obviously. Okay. I have to go to the bathroom again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to bed and then I will be right back. Don't forget, from today on, our hideout's gonna be at the Shibuya Passageway. Oh, that reminds me. Mashima said Nakanohara should be in Shibuya too. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? <laughs> My For name real? Is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. 
He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. <laughs> the the music just cutting out. Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? The shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again. Please make rule number five form no emotional it's attachments. It's to save the life of another man as well. Save that life. Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be you, Mm hmm. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. <sighs> Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but... I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. I appreciate you, man. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. It's go time, baby. Let's save Yusuke. Is just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Go, go, new hideout. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. Woohoo! saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. Chastity? We'll need to do what we did with it's not that serious, man. We secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading <laughs> about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? Nope. I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. 
We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is the first job for Angel's Call, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. The mission to change Madarame's heart has begun. You must steal his treasure by the deadline. Mission start. Alright. Okay, Let's start go. the palace infiltration, baby. I'm hoping to at least get to the to the infiltration point. Whatever. I'm sure you already knew this, but the but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyways, let's get ready. But, yeah. Oh. Come inside. We have much to discuss. Our master would like a word with you. Come on. Come in. They're so dirty. So you've come. Your rehabilitation seems to- I can't go deep, dude. <laughs> seems to be going smoothly. It's been tough. Huh. Has it now? I've prepared a special gift- <laughs> You just keep going, old man. I've prepared a special gift for you. I must reward such valiant efforts. Use this power well. Traits. Our master, our master is extending incredible. Our master is extending incredible kindness. Shed tears of joy in me. <laughs> Oops. Your personas are born from the masks of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out its power. Do that, and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then, if you have other other business, you may tend to it now. I don't believe I do now that I think about it. Business with um. Time for some rehabilitation. Now choose. Okay. Um finished for now. Are you yes. finished? Yes. What? Okay. Oops. I forgot. Yes. Are you finished? What? I'm going back. No slacking off. And give you strength as you work toward your rehabilitation. Go forth. I have high expectations for you. Joker! Come on. What are you standing around for? You're at the program, alright? You're a vital member of the team here. Sorry, I had a meeting with a couple little girls and an old man. Very important. Joker? Shh. It's an infrared laser device. If we touch it, the security will increase. On, Hold on, there wasn't anything like that last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making Monorama become more wary of us. Joker, they're not e easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful! Mmm, you're alert, huh? Form. 
gosh, I'm so high level. I love that it morphs. That's so cool. <laughs> okay. They were too weak to bother with. Um, hold on a second. Oops, I'm just right into those. Slide. I'll reveal your true form. <laughs> huh? Well, Like it's nothing. Okay, it's just that. Not that it matters. Show me your true okay. <laughs> Thought you could hide there, but I guess not. I don't even need my personas yet. <laughs> All right. A stylish victory. Hey, we'll be in on we'll be in on on we'll be in on entirety once we get <laughs> once we get past here, right? The security will probably get a little more fierce as well. Make sure you don't touch anything or run into any of the displays. All right. What are you look what are you looking at me for? Paige, you get so much shit. <laughs> Can't go that way. Safe room. Let's move on. I hear a treasure chest. I'll reveal your true form. I love the huh. <laughs> I'm gonna say it every time. It's so funny. Finish him off with the shoddy. All right. Easy win. They were nothing. Oh. Uh, there's a dangerous one up ahead. I'm not scared. Show me your true Give me that XP, baby. Oh. Physical attacks won't work on 
Ready by time. Okay, I guess that has to do. Oh, I could do that, but actually, I will. Do that. That was a little more difficult. Mostly because I was making it more difficult. <laughs> Ooh, level up. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go, Joker. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. This way. What was the point of that room? Absolutely nothing. Do 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 Oh, I did miss a room. Oops. I hit. That was, uh, yeah, oopsie. I was just a I'm tiny bit so late. Show me your true form. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's go. Okay. Oh, he's level 18. I think I'm only 15. Oh well. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Show me your true form. Mm. Okay. No. We're done here. Nice work, team. Okay. Shadow defeated. That was easy, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you don't pay attention, huh? Let's just focus now. Something else. Okay. 
<laughs> Way overthinking that. Have a kick-ass knife. I forgot. All right. All right, we beat him. Let's go, Joker. Okay. There's a treasure chest. Adam ring. All right. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> Not gonna make the same mistake as last time. Okay. Damn it, it ain't opening. Well. No. Come on, we didn't come here to. Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Stay back. Oh no, I tripped the security. Ah, uh, you were the one making us be careful too. So this cat, you man. Do? Run out of here. No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on, Joker's not trapped. Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Fine, if I have to. Who the heck is making noises? <laughs> Oh. Like, why can I not drop down? See it. Show me your there we go. Seems to be some kind of button here. I wonder if I should press it. Duh. Yes. It looks like Panther was able to get out. You're welcome, Panther. No. Why? Thanks, now we need to get Skullamona out. That's what I was on my way to do. Bro, the amount of the amount of times that Morgana has okay. complimented on And we're done. Come on, let's go. Yes. Huh? What did it do? Is this Huh? I think there's a little space between that painting's frame and the wall. I never would have imagined there was a button behind the painting. Yeah. Oh, good job. You did it. Let's hurry up and get back together with him. Sorry. Thanks. Now we just gotta get Mona out of there. But I don't think we'll be able to get him out unless we turn the lasers off. There has to be a control room for them. I don't know if it's nearby though. 
We just gotta trust him. Come on, let's get let's try looking for it. Whoa. I'm just smart like that. As I was saying, a hey joker. Something here I'm wondering about. Oh yeah? And what's that? There we go. Yeah. Look, it says security whatever on here. Maybe this will let us turn the laser off. Those lasers off. But it looks like we need a password to use it. Let's find the password then. Oh. Uh they're probably ain't gonna they're probably ain't gonna leave it lying around. Then what are we supposed to do? Look for someone who might know it? Hey, did you hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking around in here? I got a call telling me to change the password just in case. And what did you change it to? Hello. Huh? I said hello. 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. Isn't that a little childish? Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody finds out. Nobody's gonna find out, right? It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Not like anybody's eavesdropping on us. Anyway, don't forget, when you when you see the code input, be sure to say hello. Hey. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker, let's go say hello to that terminal thing. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a shot. Ooh, 7734. You were typing on the chair, not the, the laptop. Nice. Those guys did it. I'm saved. It looks like it worked. Sweet, let's go grab that stupid cat and get moving. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, that was very much unlike me. Sheesh, weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit in the exhibit? Ugh, that is true. I can't believe I made such a novice mistake, even for solid gold. But something was drawing me to this vase. Hmm. What do you mean? Isn't it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look, just in case? Oh. Uh, what is this? Oh, I see. That's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it! I'll explain the rest of this later. Let's just get after it and attack. Oh no! Resist. So overkill. Jewel tool. <laughs> Level 16. The Kaja. Yes. Good, good. That was pretty nice considering it was your first time running into one. What was that? That panther was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give you a lot of experience, they might be useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast and attacks don't deal very much damage to them. Now we go forward. Yay, a safe room. Okay. The hell? How are we supposed to get past this huge hole in the- Calm down, look at where the security guard is walking. Show me your true form. Who's <laughs> 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 
Bro, every time. Sorry, there's a treasure chest. <laughs> I'll reveal your true form. Oh no. Oh no. I ran out of bullets. <laughs> ah, Makaru. Okay. No match for me. Why can I not ambush you? There we go. your true form. Three hundred twenty-four. Okay. Huh? That was a little too easy. Now yeah, you're telling me. Huh? Huh? Is that? Is this? Intruders in the second ex exhibition room. Apprehend them at once. Crap! Let's get out of here fast. Which way is the exit? Go for it, girl. Good job, Panther. All right. Shadow defeated. That was easy, huh? Show me your true. No problems for us. That's right. Okay. They were too weak to bother with. Focus. Okay. That's right. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's on the inside. How do I get up there? Um. Okay. 
can't remember how to do this. Doors is locked. See it. I don't remember. <laughs> oh. How about the button that's right there? <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm blind sometimes. Yes! Oh look, the electric the electric thing's deactivated now. This should this should let us move forward. Nice work, Joker. Oh hey. Oh, that's the will seed. Two hundred forty two XP. Right. That's all it takes for me. I'm just going over for the chest. I don't really care about the will seed, too, on it, to be honest. One of Madarame's will seeds. Let's do the first one. Searching the area. All right. Um, was there anything else up there? Oh, no, just need to unlock the store. Onwards. The... Whoa, well, it's even gaudier than the rest of the mill museum. It definitely looks like something important would be hidden away in there. Let's go. Let's go find out. No. There's something worth protecting up ahead. Oh, wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? Well, how are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. Well, I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right. There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I 
think I know what real world's door that's based on. There huh. might be another way to open it. In any case, look I'll familiar. Come on, let's go. I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. As much as I hate to listen to him again. Let's head home for today. We can come back here once we hatch the plan. That's why I wanted to go to the safe room. A safe room. Okay. And then go back to the entrance. And call it a day. We shall leave and try to dis disengage the the, cou uh, the courtyard security. Now returning to the real world from Autorami's palace. Thank you for your hard work. Well, I think we're almost halfway through. I'm starting to get a faint sense of the treasure near here. Oh. That means we're at least making some progress, right? Hey, when do you want to come in here next? Let me know when you decide. I'll be waiting. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. I think there's some kind of off switch somewhere. Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Matarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh. So, this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. <laughs> so, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But, don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Matarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Matarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. <laughs> I you think. understand, don't you, Joker? Sort of. Well, it can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Matarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh, <laughs> man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is have me go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. You're always thinking that, Morgana. I'm not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Matarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. <sighs> <sighs> is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Unfortunately, my dear. But what if, you know, uh, um, nothing. Poor on. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. 
We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. Damn right, you go, girl. We'll lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Down and dirty is such a terrible statement to say in this context. Yes. No, just say something like I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Leave this to me. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You get in trouble with Yusuke? You get in touch with Yusuke? Mhm. Mm he asked me to come by tomorrow. Oh yeah, he fell for it. Um, do I really have to do this? Just be careful. Yeah. Man, this is such a pain. You gotta open that door and have Madarame see it, right? Yeah, Morgana said that I'll change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down and we'll be there to, get to back you up ASAP. Okay, okay, got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady An to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. <laughs> Acting like you're not excited at that prospect. Freak cat. Hmm. Fine. I don't want to. <laughs> hey. Fine, I guess I'm going right to bed then. Thanks a lot, Papa Morgana. Well then. Tomorrow we're going to Lady on to Matarame's house to try and change Matarame's cognition. Don't worry, I'll be with you. Just kick back and wait for me to do my thing. I feel like I have an indigestion. Did I eat anything strange today? <laughs> no, it's called worry. <laughs> so it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. Yeah, that's how we met. What's with this sudden change in attitude? I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. I would dr I would- <laughs> I would never dream of it! I don't understand. Nevertheless, I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that. Oh, we're well aware. Oh yeah, the great artist Matarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his work before, but wow, they truly are incredible. I saw some of his interviews too. He really is a charming fellow. It's rare to see a gentleman artist like him in a field known for having a lot of eccentric types. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, eh, Kun? Which famous ukiyo-e? Artists of the Edo period is said to have moved residents over a hundred times. Um. Yeah. This is it. Whoa, Correct. It seems you know a thing or two after all. Hulk say had a habit of moving, but he also changed his name quite a lot, at least thirty times throughout his life. His sole interest was his heart, so he stayed in poverty, wore tattered clothes, and lived in squalor. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of impressed. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Wow, you must really be smart to be able to answer a question like that. Actually, Matarame's house is quite modest too. All masteritis, past and present, always put their art above their fame. He steals his master's work and makes them suffer. He's no master, he's just... 
He steals the student's work and makes him suffer. He's no master. He's just an abusive old con man. We're gonna get him no matter what. Well then, Lady Ann and I will head over to Monorami's house. Morgana, we're counting on you. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. <laughs> I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it. What was that? Oh, no! It was nothing! By the way... Have you... Gained some weight. <laughs> you think so? I weigh the same as always. Oh my Even gosh. Today. <laughs> so then, can you um get ready? When did she put those clothes on? That's what I wanna know. You need to take my clothes off, right? Yes, please. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? Oh. Phew, that was tight. Tight? No, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. This should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? <laughs> the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... Are you were wearing all this? <laughs> Don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> I suppose... There's no way he doesn't see Morgana right there by the door. Right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. <laughs> True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh. That's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic <laughs> composition. <laughs> what kind of poses? Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please, wait! I'm counting on you, Mona. Are you serious <laughs> gonna be able to pull this off? <laughs> Meanwhile, with bro time. I'll just seduce him with my acting, but that sounds out of her league. <laughs> Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Narurame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's it gonna show it to Narurame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Uh, it'll definitely work. I want to think that too, but it's almost time. 
Please, uh, can you just wait and... What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't! <laughs> this poor boy. You're still not done? It's hard to do this with cat paws. Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So, what is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. Somewhere, like, quiet. <laughs> you know, where we won't get interrupted. Okay, this is starting to sound like more than just painting. Are you really going to buy that terrible act? Stay focused. Hmm? Oh, it's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Kitagawa kun, do you not like girls like me? No, he doesn't like girls at all. <laughs> How is that working on him? Please, we can continue this inside. Sh sure. <laughs> I mean, no. We can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. Uh-oh. Sensei! Yusuke? Alright, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's... it's not what it looks like! What? Not in there! Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's... Hmm? And just it's like locked. that, the doors are open. They seriously did it! They're amazing! For real. Let's go. All right. Okay, let's find the control room quick. The path's gonna close up if we dick around for too long. But it's just gonna be me and you for a bit if we run into any enemies. You good? Let's kick some tail. Yeah, yeah I'll be counting on you. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Damn it, already? Hey, what do you want to do? We have to beat it. Yeah. The real problem is the fact that we gotta handle this with just the two of us. Anyways, I'll leave the timing up to you, dude. Sorry. Yo. Yo, you're gonna let us through right now. Hmm? Who are you? Oops. Security system, you cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared. <laughs> sure, says hell no. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this gun's OP. That just wasn't even an issue. Who? These are real tough when it's just you and me. No, no, it's not. I just took him out with a single clip of my gun. <laughs> It'd be a pain in the ass if we got spotted again. Anyways, let's turn off that security system. Takamaki-san, this is bad. Are these the lights? Huh? What? The uh oh. Isn't this Sayuri? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. 
I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. Why? A real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudge my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. There's the artist because block. Of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me. Some? From time to time. <sighs> I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. So you Bullshit. to sell copies of a photo? Don't people Oops. who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Mm, this sounds like a lie to me. Me too. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady on. This one seems different. Sayuri. This. This is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. No. He's a liar. It's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. You can talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat? Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! <laughs> yeah, let's go. Well, let's hurry and get this shit shut off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in Broland, oh uh, yeah, this is the room. Oh, over here. Come on. Disengaging security protocol. All right. Sweet. Now the lasers in the courtyard should be off for good. Well, that's mission complete. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, who's there? Whoa. Oops. <laughs> All right. All right. Looks like the security's totally off. Let's get back and meet up with the others. I hope those two managed to get away. He probably got knocked out for a second because it hit got hit by Morgana. Are you okay? Wake up! Oh now you definitely knocked him out. <laughs> Who are you all? Uh, calm down, Kitagawa kun. It's me. Kamaki-san. That means you two are. I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before though. <laughs> what is this place? We're inside Matarame's heart. Inside. Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? 
she ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Madarame? He talks like an 1800s British villain. <laughs> I love you, Skye. But this is another reality as viewed through Madarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. Here, lay down my shoulder. No, it's all right. We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? Unfortunately. Sorry you had to see this, Yusuke. This painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Adorame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist Madarame. Huh? Master of Sensei. counterfeiting. Is that you? That attire. Disgusting. This. This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home under a mistress's name, of course. This is absurd. <laughs> How naive. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still Foolish? see? Painting being stolen was just a <laughs> false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Heart sobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? So much. Not a brand like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? No. That's why he's doing a it. Tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You help me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. 
that's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. Except you're doing it to humans, well, not animals. This little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction. Kitagawa-kun? <laughs> I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. <laughs> the music kicks in, baby! To see the true self behind this one horrible man. Here we go, baby! Taking sight. Beauty. Limitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. That's so cool. <laughs> Prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice. Let's see what you're made of. Very well, bring it on. Yeah, let's go, Yusuke. Okay. On your knees, intruders. No. I learned much from you, Madarana. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With going on by my side, I can now ascertain your true self. <laughs> His eye. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> Bam, 
fucking skill. Rampage? What the heck did- I was about to say, when does he get with Zeo? Not if we take you down first. Matarame. You'll forever rule the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Kitago Akun. Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa kun Where would you go? Well, the... He's the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father, but he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori. The very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. You don't got much in your head, though. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? <laughs> Don't tell me. Uh, oh, well, crap. tender moment over. Time to go. Need to scram. When did my clothes change? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go. <laughs> Bro, unleashed a persona and everything. He's just like, huh? What happened to my clothes? It's been like 10 minutes, he's gay. I see. <laughs> because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. And you're part of them now. We're right in front of you. Indeed. Well, I have to believe your words. Especially after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame Sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? That's right. Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't failsafe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitago Akun. It's a deal then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. <laughs> I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. 
Welcome aboard. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. I'll do my best. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Matarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, <laughs> he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. Obviously. Act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. Alrighty. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. <laughs> it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Uh, don't call him weird. He's a starving artist, man. Hey. I hope you're not up to no good. Don't forget that you're still under probation, got that? One misstep and you're finished. No good? Oh, no, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Legal action? This ain't funny. That sounds problematic. If the police hear about this, they'll, t they'll totally get in touch with the school. We'll get expelled for sure this time. School would be the least of our worries. We'd end up arrested. Unlawful entry? Defamation? Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out is what is what really matters. Let's do this. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Alrighty. Alright, so that is where I'm going to end it for today. I hoped to get further into the palace, but my gosh, the time limit or the the, the in-between palace stuff is it's so long. But um I will be streaming tomorrow. Um uh, I don't know. We might switch over into this. I don't know. I do want to play Overwatch, though. So, oh, uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll play a couple hours of Overwatch and then switch over this and try and finish the palace. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll, I'll probably stream my later time on Wednesday, probably. Um, yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed. Hope everybody has a good rest of their day or night. I hope that you come back to continue this story because it's starting to get good now. Um, yeah, other than that, I guess that is it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Follow all of my socials, which are on in the overlay and stuff like that so that you can keep up to date for any updates and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!